let's uh, just stand to our feet now as we go into the portion of the word tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, it's just wonderful to be in the house of the God, of the Lord. Hallelujah. We've welcomed our visitor. Uh, there is uh, Mama Jemwa that you might not know. She's a friend to my family. Uh, you are welcome once again in the house of the Lord. And uh, Sister Nkuna and uh, the sisters, they are back uh, from KZN and we are happy to have them. Amen. Now let's open our Bibles and also we want to appreciate the regular, uh, the regulars at Joy Tepaneko. You are welcome. Mm. Keep loving the Lord. Amen. Let's open our Bibles to John chapter 4. Praise be the name of the Lord. And uh, before I forget, next week we won't have a Wednesday service. Praise be the name of the Lord. Because we're going to have a big meeting on Friday. Amen. And I'm getting calls from everywhere. They say, why are you making it to end at midnight? Why can't we just cross over? <laughs> So we, we will look at that possibility. It's possible. <laughs> yeah. E, yeah, we can cross. Amen. Maybe we will adjust the, the posters. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. John chapter 4, let's start reading on verse 19. I want to hear an amen from those that love the Lord. Wonderful. There is fire in the house of God. There is a revival in winter time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is victory in the camp. Hallelujah. While you are saying amen and rejoicing over the Lord, the walls of Jericho, they fall. Hallelujah. Glory. Satan is falling down. Glory, Glory to God. Amen. 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 Yeah. Russia. That was wonderful. I can tell you one thing. The Lord loves that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. So let me read the word so that you can uh, sit down. The woman saith unto him, Say, I perceive thou art a prophet. That's John chapter 4 verse 19. Am I right? All right. Verse 20. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain. And you say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. And Jesus said unto him, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh. Mm. Pastor Mandemo preached the message, Father, the hour has come. Hallelujah. When you shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, Worship the Father. You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship. Say to someone next to you, we know what we worship. Amen. For salvation is of the bride. <laughs> salvation is of the bride of Jesus Christ. Amen. But the hour cometh. And now is when the true worshippers, amen. So it means they are moderate worshippers. It means they are, uh, they are worshippers which are not true. I don't want to call them false, but they are not true. Hallelujah. Uh, but the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. God wants to be worshipped in spirit Go. and in truth. Hallelujah. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. And I want to say to the Father, 
You have arrived. We are the true worshippers. We worship God in spirit and in truth. We don't put boundaries. We don't restrict what God can do. If God wants to talk about divine healing, we are here to worship him. If he wants to talk about miracles, if he wants to talk about spiritual manifestations, we are here for that. If he wants to, to talk about the mysteries of the living God, the Godhead, the seven seals, we are here. We worship God in truth and in spirit. Because God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful to be in the house of the Lord? So I'm not going to make uh, many comments. Uh, uh, I'm just going to hit a few highlights. And then uh, we can pray once more. Amen. The midweek service is for us to pray. Hallelujah. But we pray according to the word. Hallelujah. So we, we partake of the word. The word gives us direction on how we must what? Worship him. Amen. We don't worship him haphazardly. We worship him according to his word. Amen. Hallelujah. We know there is a meeting place for the children of God. Hallelujah. It's not at that mountain. It's not at that cave. It's not in that desert. It's not in Jerusalem, physical Jerusalem. But it's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So the real believers, they've got to take a step ladder. Hallelujah. To go into heavenly places. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. While we are in Tsakane. Hallelujah. There is a time where we can rise above Tsakane. And we enter into the heavenly places. Where we hear things that other people don't hear. Where we feel things that other people cannot feel. Hallelujah. Where we are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Where all things are possible. Hallelujah. Where paradoxes happen. Hallelujah. Oh, did you hear that? Where paradoxes happen. Hallelujah. Things that cannot be explained by science. Hallelujah. Things that cannot be explained physically. Hallelujah. When we get into a certain realm, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. So, the prophet of the living God... He preached a message called the unfailing realities of God. Hallelujah. And when he preached that message, he quoted uh, the same scripture that I read for you today. Amen. So I will take a few things from there. Hallelujah. Uh, just to see uh, how God will lead us. Amen. Then from there, we can be ready for prayer. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So, let me start somewhere here. Amen. You will love this. Amen. Wonderful. Hallelujah. You know, he says something here that I want to share with you. Hallelujah. Then we can go uh, forward. He says in paragraph 60, that's uh, 60, 06, 26, then paragraph 60. He says, in the days of Jesus of Nazareth, when he was here on earth, walking in the flesh, and uh, what we were saying on Sunday, uh, we're saying that the word was made what? Flesh. Hallelujah. It uh, started as Elohim, the invisible one, the one who fills all time, space, and eternity. Hallelujah. The one who dwelt alone. I was enjoying uh, seeing that and Brother Koso jumping up and down. Hallelujah. Uh, Elohim, uh, the senior bachelor. Where there was nothing, he was just alone, nobody to speak to. Amen. Very lonely. But he thought of having a bride. He thought of having people to worship him. Then he started creating. In the beginning of the creation of God is what is called the Logos. Amen. The word that proceeded out of God. 
Hallelujah. That's why John says, in the beginning was the word. Amen. And the word was with God. But the same word was God. Amen. So God started creating by the logos. Hallelujah. And uh, in the New Testament, that logos, hallelujah, then became flesh. Hallelujah. In the body called Jesus. Hallelujah. Which was God in flesh. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. God living with us. Amen. God eating pup with us. Hallelujah. God eating meat with us. Hallelujah. God being tempted just like us. Hallelujah. Oh, and, to, and this afternoon, I was so blessed to know that the very same word which was made flesh. Amen. In our day, it has been made spirit. Hallelujah. The very same word that was walking in Nazareth. Amen. It has been made flesh. It has been made spirit. Amen. By receiving the, 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 the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You are receiving Jesus who walked on the streets of Galilee. Amen. So those who have received the spirit of God. Amen. God is now in you. Amen. As he gave the promise. What did he say? He says, I will be in you. I will be with you. Even in you. Until the end of the age. And we are in that time where God is in the bride. Amen. God is in the believer. Hallelujah. Powered by the Holy Ghost. Amen. But in measure. So it's the same power, but in measure. That's why some is given uh, power to preach. Amen. Some are given power to prophesy. Some are given power to pray for the sick. Some are given power for miracles. Some are given power to teach the word. Hallelujah. It's the same spirit dividing himself on a body of believers. Amen. That's why others are made musicians. Hallelujah. Others are made, uh, you know, whatever God made you. Amen. It's all members of one body. Mm. I love that. Now hear this. And when he was here on earth, Walking in the flesh, he found the people in his day seeking a religion that would bring them deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear that, brother, sister? He found people seeking a religion that would bring them deliverance. People are not coming to church for arguments. People are not coming to church for theological debates. People are coming to church because they've got issues in their lives. People are coming to church because they want to see a God that once opened the Red Sea. They want to see a God that created manna. They want to see a God that saved Daniel in the lion's den. They want to see a God of miracles. They want to see a God who can change lives. They want to see a God who can cast out evil spirits. Brother, sister, I'm telling you, people are living with things at home. Others don't sleep. Hallelujah. Others don't have peace. Hallelujah. They are looking for that Jesus that they've read about in the Bible. Amen. So when we come to church, we must preach Jesus. And not just a Jesus of the, or of the Bible there, but a present tense Jesus. Amen. Because he never made himself a historical Jesus. Amen. He says, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. So if he healed sicknesses yesterday, he can still heal sicknesses today. Hallelujah. He can heal sicknesses tomorrow. Hallelujah. If he solved problems, he can still solve problems yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Never make God a historical God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, when we were at the all night uh, last week, hallelujah, uh, there is a certain sister, she's a friend to my wife then. She was so sick, she was diagnosed with a heart problem, and everybody thought she is going, hallelujah. But, uh, she contacted us for prayer, hallelujah, and uh, we prayed and uh, we committed the matter to God, and then we lost the numbers, hallelujah. So I wondered what happened to that sister. 
because even at work she was uh, retrenched because of the health condition. Everybody was just, uh, you know, saying you just need to wait for uh, God's time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. But after the all night on Friday, last week, she came and she was so happy. She shook our hands and she was jumping and she's an elderly sister, you know, maybe above 40. <laughs> but she was behaving like a teenager. She was jumping up and she said, Pastor Chireka, don't you see God has healed me? <laughs> so, the same God who healed, I mean, heart problems in the Bible still heals heart problems today. Hallelujah. I like that amen from the corner there. You know that God heals heart problems. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. People are seeking a religion that can deliver them from their troubles. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. People are seeking a religion that can make a man a real man. Hallelujah. People are seeking a religion that can make women real women. Hallelujah. People are seeking a religion that can keep our children in the blessed path. Hallelujah. That can save them from the drugs that are out there. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Girls who are supposed to be in nightclubs. Hallelujah. They are in the house of God. They are busy worshiping God. Amen. That's a kind of a religion that I'm also looking for. A religion. Amen. That can keep my children when I'm not there. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. They wanted a religion that would deliver them from all their evils and their enemies. Hallelujah. I like that. I like that. That would deliver them from their evils and their enemies. Hallelujah. My enemy is not that unbelieving auntie. My enemy is not that person giving me an attitude at home. No, no, no. Those are not my enemies. Diseases are my enemies. Hallelujah. Poverty is my enemy. Mm. Nightmares are my enemies. We don't have natural enemies. We are fighting a spiritual battle. We don't wrestle with the flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Brother, sister, you have to come to a level where you become smart and you realize that the creation, there's nothing wrong with it. You see, when God came down in the den of lions, the problem was not the lions. It was the devil in the lions. So what God did was to deal with the devil in the lion. <laughs> when God dealt with the devil that was in the lion, the lion became a pet. It became like a little dog. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't fight with the people. It's just the enemy that is in the people. You address the devil and you find that these people are such lovely people. Hmm? Jonah. Jonah. When he was in the belly of the fish, he never started kicking the fish. You, you fish, I kick you. You fish, I'm going to destroy you. No. The Bible says Jonah spoke to the creator of the fish. And the creator of the fish spoke to the fish. <laughs> and the fish listened. The fish became a submarine transport for Jonah to go to Nineveh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, tonight as we come before the Lord, you are not going to pray against somebody. Even if someone is troubling you at work, that's not your enemy. Even if someone is troubling you in your family, that's not the enemy. If someone is troubling the church, that's not the enemy. The enemy is the devil. Speak to the creator. Speak to the creator. He will speak to his creation. Hallelujah. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. Hallelujah. 
but we wrestle with the spiritual wickedness. Hallelujah. Brother, sister, the enemy wants to get to you, but he will use something. Huh? On Sunday, no one can deny we were in heavenly places. The spirit of the Lord was full here. And we were, we were very encouraged in the word. Hallelujah. And the devil hated that they are rejoicing. And the devil was waiting for us. Eh? I, I, didn't I tell you that when you come to church, the enemy is waiting by the door. <laughs> eh? Waiting for you. Hallelujah. He can't get you in the presence of the Lord. So wait, he's going to come out. And I want to make sure that I take away the joy. Hallelujah. But when you have this understanding that I'm teaching you, children of God, the problem is not the being. That being is a poor creation of God. The problem is not your husband. Hmm? Your husband is not the problem. Let him receive the Holy Ghost once. The problem is not your wife. Let her be filled with the Holy Ghost. The problem is not your child. Let's address where the problem is. The problem is the devil. Huh? Right now, the wind is there. It's peaceful. But if the devil gets in the wind, my brother. <laughs> so the problem is not the wind. It's the devil in the wind. The devil is not your boss. That boss is not a devil. But the devil can get a hold of, you, of him and start tormenting you. Hmm? But you, you must know how to fight. Don't have petty fights. Fight in the heavenlies. Hallelujah. That bank official who is approving uh, loans for home loans is not your enemy. Fight it from up there. Send missiles from up there. <laughs> One day. Oh, you love that. You believe it. You believe it. The, the enemy is the one that's going into different offices. Putting roadblocks. But today we are speaking from a higher level. We are speaking from a, from a higher level. We are saying, Satan, make way. Make way for liberty for the children of God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There was a servant of God who was praying and fasting. Praise be the name of the Lord. Brother, sister, the greatest decision you can ever make as a Christian is to say, Lord, I'm now praying and fasting desperately. It's one of the best decisions you can ever make. Say amen, somebody. That's a decision that puts smiles on God. That's a decision that makes God to post in heaven to say, look at the decision of my child. Hmm? There was a man by the name uh, 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 Daniel. He made a decision when he read the word. He made a decision that, Lord, I, I, I don't like what I'm reading here. Time is fast spent. This is the time for manifestation of the word that was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet. Lord, I am saying bye-bye to pizza. I'm saying bye-bye to good food. I'm going to fast. I'm going to pray. I want God to answer. And the Bible says, as soon as he made that decision, heaven was happy. And God dispatched an angel to say, go and bless that young man. Hallelujah. God bless you. God dispatched an angel to say, brother, sister, hey, this man must be blessed of the Lord. And when the angel came, hallelujah, uh, before the angel could reach where Daniel was, there was spiritual wickedness in the air. Huh? Demons of territory. Huh? If I would say it would be de uh, demons of uh, Tzakani. 
of Dudu's, of Springs, of Johannesburg. Brother, the atmosphere was so horrible that even the angel could not break through. Huh? There was no breakthrough because the atmosphere was keeping the angel away. Hallelujah. So Daniel is on day one of his fast and he's expecting something from the Lord. It doesn't come. Not because God has forgotten, but God has dispatched an angel. But the angel is blocked up there. Hmm? Brother, sister, if demons can block an angel, how about you and me? Hmm? But Gabriel was so wise. He says, all right, here I, I find it difficult to penetrate here. I have to call backup. <laughs> Next week we are calling backup. <laughs> Next week we are calling backup. We are calling backup. You see, if there is a policeman and there is a riot, there is a strike somewhere, and the policeman comes and he says, "Hey man, to learn, to learn about," and the people don't listen and they want to even attack the policeman. He knows the people are too many. I cannot fight them, but he just go behind the corner and he, he phones the head office. I need backup. <laughs> Tonight, I'm requesting for backup. I need backup. I want to deal with the demons of Sakane. I want to deal with the demons of Juduza. I want to deal with the demons of the area. I'm requesting backup. Ah, uh, brother, brother, once there is a call for a backup, hallelujah, there are some strong people, there are some strong soldiers, there are some strong people, they run to the office, they put on their gear, they say there is a call for backup, let's go, assemble, 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 assemble. Gabriel went back to heaven and requested backup, brother, then there stood Michael. Hallelujah. Michael, the archangel. He says, Gabriel, what is the problem? He says, I couldn't penetrate there. I couldn't break the atmosphere. Michael, I can see him flexing his, uh, his muscles. Hey, brother, sister, flex your muscles. He says, don't worry, this devil, I defeated him in heaven. And I can defeat him right there where he is in Babylon. Hallelujah. Michael is the, is the Lord Jesus Christ fighting angelic battles. When he's in the flesh, he's called Jesus. When he's fighting angelic battles, it's Michael. That's why there's that song. Michael, I'm on your side. Michael, I'm on your side. You have come all this way to fight for the brand. Michael, I'm on your side. Then backup came. Hallelujah. Papers that were stuck in some offices, they started the movie. Hallelujah. Certain weddings that way, that way, that way, that way, uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, stopped by witchcraft, by spells, they started coming out. Breakthroughs, the Holy Ghost that was supposed to fill people, it started coming down. Why? Because there was backup. Oh, tonight, let's rejoice. There is a heavenly backup. Hallelujah. The battle is not for you. The battle is not for you, brother, sister. The battle, God has come to fight on your side. There is a backup that has come on your side. Hallelujah. Things you couldn't do. Mm. Your bank account could not do it. But there is a backup somewhere. There is a backup somewhere. Hallelujah. Just your reading of the word could not do it. Just your prayers could not do it. Hallelujah. But there is a backup somewhere. Even Goliath is falling. Even cancers are falling. Even souls are coming to the Lord. There is a backup. Glory to God. 
Amen and amen. My man, I never... I never get to a quarter of what I wanted to speak on. Just the introduction uh, quotation. I see our time is almost gone. Now, hear this. Christianity met every challenge that they asked for. <laughs> the word of God will defeat the devil in whatever form. If he's fighting you in your body, the word of God will defeat him. If he's fighting him, if he's fighting you in your marriage, I want to tell you something. Your marriage is not going to collapse. It's not. It's not going to collapse. It's not going to collapse. Hallelujah. Your children are not going to run away from home. Hmm? The church is not going to collapse. Joy Tabernacle, we are never going to become street kids. No one is going to chase us out and, uh, and uh, throw us out just like a, a, a common thing here. We are here standing with God. And we are ready for every challenge. Because Christianity meets every challenge. Witchcraft is not going to stand. Poverty is not going to stand. I have the privilege. I'm going to see some of you very blessed. I have the privilege. I will dedicate some of your things. I will dedicate someone's vehicle. I will dedicate someone's house. I will dedicate the church. I will dedicate things. I will dedicate. 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 Because Christianity meets every condition. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our children are not going to elope. You know what is eloping? Running away from home. Huh? Before time. They are not going to elope. I'm going to watch them walking, not in this building here. In a better building. Walking majestically. Basha is step so. Eh? Bra Brother Mbutin. Mbutin. Is that your andy there? Is that Karabo? Wearing a tall gown. Hmm? I rebuke evil spirits from our families that wants to stop progress in the house of the Lord. There will be no eloping here. Huh? In Shona, they call it Musengabere. Musengabere. Eh, where a boy just comes, takes a girl and run away with that girl. Eh? I rebuke that. Africans fat and sit. Mm. Eh, sister, young sister, hear me, you are valuable. You can't just cook for someone without that person paying lobola. Eh? Without that person making a vow before the altar here. Yeah. Hey, Mujolo, Mujolo, Mujolo. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Amen. Christianity made everything that they needed. Everything that they asked for. It challenged every one of their needs. Hmm? But the sad thing is that those people in the days of Jesus did not want to receive it. Hmm? And Brother Branham says it's about the same as it is today. We find people today uh, like it was then, seeking for a religion that would do something for them, that would bring some reality to them. And real, true Christianity meets every one of those challenges, but they don't want to receive it. Hmm? They want it on their terms. Hallelujah. Huh? When, when we get in the spirit, they'll say, fanatics, 
They say, ah, we are, we are not in a Pentecostal age. Hmm? We, we, we are not Pentecostals. But we believe in the Pentecostal experience. When I say Pentecostal, I mean Pentecostal, Pentecostal denominations. Hmm? Where the strange things are happening, people are feeding each other with diesel, uh, spraying doom, and I saw in another chair a single men were standing this side, single women here, and they say, choose, just like that. And this one, this one went and took another person's uh, a husband. And the man says, oh, you are choosing me. I have another husband. He says, I'll be your wife at church. Huh? What nonsense. Hmm? So that's why I say we are not denominations. We have the Pentecostal experience. Hmm? And we know how these things are managed and put in order by the word. Hallelujah. We believe mysteries, we believe uh, in the revealed word, but we have a Pentecostal experience to back it up. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Now, <laughs> I couldn't even get to where I want to get, so I have to pick, a, at least I wrote notes on it, so I can't jump that jump everything else, and I go to that part uh, of the road map. Amen. Mm. Say to someone next to you, a road map. The Bible is our road map. Mm. There's someone who sang a song, hallelujah. Mm. I am using my Bible as an old road map. The Ten Commandments Teach me about morality. The 12 disciples, amen, are my signs in, on the road. And we can go further than that. And the seven stars hmm, from Ephesian church age to the Laodicean church age, they are giving us light in this evil generation. Hmm? Hallelujah. Amen and amen. My, my, God is good. Amen and amen. I, I, I just ask you to go and read this message. Unfailing realities of God. Uh, but I'm going to go to paragraph uh, 79. Hallelujah. That's where I'm just going to uh, read. There are many things that I'm actually jumping that I thought I would talk about. But because of time, uh, I'll just start here. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. We start on uh, paragraph 76. Now, the Holy Spirit will not misbehave itself in one person and behave itself, itself in another. Hmm? The Holy Ghost doesn't behave differently in me and then in Brother Kotha it does something different. Hmm? The Holy Ghost is a standard. Hmm? It all makes us love God it makes us love the Bible. It makes us love church. It makes us love worship. Huh? The same. Hmm? It will make each person come to its character because it's the spirit that leads you. Hmm? It brings you, it makes you a subject or, uh, to its nature. You don't bring it subject to your nature. Hmm? Do you hear that sense? It makes you subject to its nature. In, in other words, we're talking about what? Submission to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit makes you live and love to do it. Oh, how you love to give, up, to give up the things of the world. When the Holy Spirit comes in, how it cleanses you and washes you and put a desire in you to follow him. A thirst and a hunger for more of it just bathing yourself, he brings the realities of the Bible to you. Amen. Mm. Someone say amen. Now, I want to close on this. Amen. That the Bible is our what? Road map. Hallelujah. Mm. These days we've got GPRS. All you need is an address. You punch it into the system. Then it says 10 left, 10 right. But the problem is you must have the right destination. Hmm? Because 
if you put the wrong destination, uh, I remember we are going somewhere and we didn't get the dress well with my wife. And we went and we saw now the car is taking us to a huge forest. And when we went deeper in the forest and we arrived where there is no human habitation, and then uh, that lady says, you have arrived at your destination. Hmm? In the jungle. <laughs> so you must be careful. Don't go off the tandem. Hmm? Don't take one scripture and run with it. Balance yourself. When you read something by the prophet, look at where he says the same thing again. Or where he balances it again. Because you can take one thing and you run. And you outrun yourself. And you find yourself in hell. Hmm? So balance. Balance. Hmm? Now, when God placed men here in the days of uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, he gave men a true road map to his power. You hear that? A road map is something that tells you, that tells you where you are headed. Hmm? If you want to go, when we live in the next uh, few days, I, I've crossed this country so much uh, with my wife and I'm amazed to think of it. So, wherever you are going, uh, the road map gives you accurate you know, number of kilometers and even with our GPS, it even tells you the estimated arrival time. Hmm? In 15 minutes, you will reach your destination. Hmm? Brother and sister, if you are reading the Bible correctly, it can tell you that very soon, there's something that is about to happen. When we see what's happening in Israel there, we know hmm? if it's already happening like that in Israel, what about the rapture of the saints? Hmm? When we see Russia, which we were told to say, watch Russia. Watch Russia. And we see Russia flexing its muscles. Hmm? Developing complicated atomic, uh, you know, nuclear systems that can disable the satellites of America. Hmm? If they disable satellites of America, all the airports can't function. Because all that is connected by satellite. If that goes off, there will be such a chaos. Hmm? And you know what uh, the enemy does? He disables all your systems so that he can hit you when you're not expecting anything. Hmm? Like thieves coming to your home. They will try to find where the main source of electricity is. They cut you. And they, in the olden days where the telephone pole is, they cut everything. Hmm? To do what? To separate you from others. You can't phone. You can't see where you are. Then they come and they attack you. Hmm? Paragraph 79 as we prepare to close so that we can pray. That's the way God wants us to know his word. Amen. We know it. We have traveled it. Hmm? We have tested it. Hmm? I want to say this to my wife. Hmm? I know that a proper marriage is governed by the word of God. That one I know. When you commit things to God, when you commit a relationship to God, it, test, it stands the test of time. Hmm? You young people, you were told messages you should listen to. I hope you are listening to those. Because that's also what we, do, what we did at our time of choosing. We listened to the choosing of a bride. Hmm? I remember when I first knew that there's a message called choosing of a bride. A, a, a prophetic person telling you how to choose a bride. Hmm? The day I got a hold of that message, hmm? it was like a discernment from the Holy Ghost. Hmm? Like uh, some of us, you know, we choose, we choose wives by browsing. Hmm? Browse this page. WW Ban Ban Browse. Huh? It's an age of liking. Like, 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 like. Hmm? Some people just come in a church, they browse. Those that are yellow bones, they're the first one to be browsed. Hmm? Hmm? And you know what? I did the same when I was a young person. I looked around and looked at that girl over there. Hmm? That one. Hmm? 
end uh, with a library at church. So I then took a message by inspiration. I didn't know what was in there. Choosing of a bride. Brother, when I went home and I played that message, choosing of a bride, hmm? and Brother Branham starts talking about don't choose a girl because of the, the appearance of the face. Look at the character. Huh? You don't choose by lust or by just looking at uh, 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 earthly features. You don't choose the product. You choose value. <laughs> and I was alone in that room. And the Holy Ghost was convicting me, correcting me on what I had started looking around in church. So, before that message could even go, one hour mark, I was on my knees. I said, Lord, I think you are talking to me. And I immediately knew that my browsing was wrong. Hmm? Can I tell you something? The one that I was browsing, she didn't last three months in church. She was backslidden. And when she backslid, I said, yay! At least I had not yet gone there. Huh? Don't be too quick. Don't be too quick. Pray. Hmm? I would have committed myself to someone who was going to uh, turn against the message. Hmm? From there, I realized that when you want a wife, a good wife comes from the Lord. And when I committed it to the Lord, God gave me a real jewel. Hallelujah. Hmm? Passing through Samaria. We have tried it. <laughs> and you know where it leads it. Uh, leads to. He, now his road map is his Bible. The Bible is the road map that leads to the power of God. Hallelujah. So you are not supposed to end ever the Bible. But the Bible is a road map to lead you to the power of God. Hmm? I hope you understand me, saints of God. What I'm talking about is the truth and its reality. You see, Jewel, uh, the prophet, wrote in the book there. Huh? In the later times, you know, the spirit will come and your daughters shall prophesy, your sons shall see visions and old men dream dreams, things like that. Huh? But they were reading that. Reading it was not enough. It had to lead them to Acts chapter 2. Where what was written becomes a reality. Then the Holy Ghost comes and Peter jumps up and says, This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Huh? Brother, sister. We also want to sharp, uh, jump up and say, this is that which was spoken by William Branham, a prophet of God. Hmm? That's our desire, to come to the reality. The Bible is the road map that leads to the power of God. Faith leads you to the power. I like that. Power produces the promise. We need power. <laughs> God hates a powerless religion. He hates it. It has got to have some power. Hmm? Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing the word of God. But faith leads you to where the, what the power is. And when the power comes, it brings to pass the promises. And I repeat like what I said on Sunday. This is the time for the manifestation of the promises of God. God bless you as we get ready for prayer. I shalom kunkulu izan. Ezanzen, ezanzen, ezanzen. Glory to God. Amen and amen. As our musician take their position. We want to pray. Hallelujah. I don't know which condition you came to church in. But definitely you are not going home the same person. Hallelujah. You must know we have a religion. 
Christianity meets every challenge. So today we are going to pray according to the message we have heard tonight. Hallelujah. We have something that answers to all our challenges. And remember, man or the creation of God is not your enemy. Your enemy is the devil. So tonight, I want you to talk to the creator. Whatever situation you're going through, talk to the creator. The creator will speak to his creation. Let me tell you something. Creation listens to the creator. Hmm? You know, uh, I believe it was uh, the one that took over from, uh, from Moses. It was Joshua. As we are getting ready to pray. Amen. Give me a song there. If I pick it up, then we will sing that one as we pray. Hallelujah. So Joshua, he wanted to destroy his enemies. And the problem was that time was, was far spent. And in that day, God entered into Joshua. Hmm? It was not Joshua. It was God in Joshua. Speaking to the creation. Speaking about something that never happened. That might never happen again. He looked at the sun. The sun stayed still. The sun recognized the voice of the creator in Joshua. Today, let your problems recognize the voice of the Lord in your prayer. Huh? Do you think it was that brother that you know that spoke to the economic situation in Zimbabwe? No, oh, it was that brother that you know. It was the creator speaking in the brother. Uh, tonight, let all the doom devils run away when the creator speaks in sisters. When the creator speaks in brothers tonight. As we get ready to pray, give us some 